people's values. There are a lot of dumb fuck lefties. I don't know how much they get misinterpreted, but for me personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with an individual maximizing their outcomes within an unethical system like capitalism, especially if they're a socialist, because it increases the likelihood that they'll be able to achieve political and economic power. I love the, mean- I would love it if we had socialists who were go-getter business majors. So when the day comes or something, we have people in legitimate positions of power as opposed mm-hmm. to a bunch of college students and commune. You understand that like with that mentality, you could never criticize Bezos again though, right? Well, I don't criticize Bezos. I tend- and I wanted to just make this video because there seems to be a lot of confusion about what it actually means to be a socialist or a communist. You know, the communist candidate in this latest election, Pavel Grudinian, he himself is a billionaire. And I've heard many people say, oh, you can't be a socialist or a communist if you're a billionaire. That doesn't make any sense. Well, let's get facts straight here. Socialism and communism is not about poverty. It's not about wanting people to be poor so it's more fair or something about that. Socialism and communism are about organizing the economy so that it works for the benefit of the people. And right now we have an economy in the Western countries that is completely uh, you know, controlled by profits and market size. It's all about making money. And in the process, you know, people are left behind. Our streets are falling apart. Uh, our bridges are, are not secure. Waters are being purified. Um, and at the same time, you know, technology is advancing. And instead of making a more prosperous life, it's eliminating jobs. And it's making people poorer. Society and technology advances. People are getting poorer. That's the problem with capitalism. And socialism and communism, the idea behind it is that we should control the economy. That the banks, factories, industries, the major means of production should operate for the purpose of making society better. We should have a controlled economy so that we can secure people's uh, livelihoods. And in the process, people might become very wealthy. There's no contradiction between people being wealthy and socialism and communism. The idea is that there's nothing wrong with people being wealthy, just so long as they're making their wealth through making society better overall, not getting richer by making society poorer and holding back development. And that's the difference. Uh, You know, in China today, there are many billionaires, and this Pavel Grudinian, he's a billionaire, but he works with farm cooperatives. Uh, He runs a a cooperative, the Lenin Cooperative. He provides health care and education to people, and he's expanding this kind of cooperative or collective farm enterprise, uh, which is controlled by its workers. 